Welcome to our channel. Today, we're doing an apron, a hat, and some capes. Starting with the apron, we have a square, a large rectangle, and a long rectangle. I just eyeballed the top of it for the square, finding out how wide it needs to be, and it needs to go down to the middle of my waist. Then you take it and you gather it to make that perfect V shape. Use the rectangle, you can pleat that or gather that as well. So the band, and we created four total aprons. The top would just be pinned. There wasn't anything that went around the neck or the shoulders for this. It just basically pinned on the front of your dress and then tied at the back. Next, we made some DIY spoon bonnets using poster board, uh, lots of fleece, and um, some nicer material as well. So basically, I cut out the shape measuring my kid's head, and then I glued two pieces of fleece on top of it. Yes, I hot glued it into place. So we had the front part, the middle, and the very back. For my girls, I ended up omitting the spoon front part that you see here. The first one I made was obviously way too big and way too pointy. So I adjusted that. This is the middle part, as you can see there, that goes between the front and the very back. There's the front with the point a little bit more adjusted, but again, I ended up scrapping these for my three um, daughters and just used that part for myself. Anytime you have curves or you want things to bend, you notch them. So here I notched them and then glued them together, notched the back part so that it could fold over and attach easier to the back piece. Here I'm adjusting it and I'm noticing, oh, it's about wide enough to not need that big, huge front thing. So that's why I changed my mind for my younger girls. Okay, here they are with all the fleece on, trying to show with one hand and holding the camera how this would all go together. These were all hot glued, and that would be the ending result of that. I notched all the sides too so they would easily fold up. Again, these were hot glued. This is that middle piece. And here are the nicer pieces that I'm gonna put on the front so that you can see them. I have the lining and then I have the outside. Here's the front that we didn't use for the girls, but I used for myself. And the middle piece. Now for these pieces, I did sew them together. So I put the right sides together, sewed along three edges, left the under part unsewed so I could flip it out and then put it on the um, poster board. And then once the poster board was in there, then I sewed along that raw edge. In any of those places that had curves, I made sure to notch the fabric so that it would be easier to curve around and sew. Some of those I had to go back in and notch even further. Again, this is just DIY. I'm not saying you should do it this way. We just needed something quick, cheap, and um, something that would work for us at this time. That's how it would go together here, like that. Showing that the right sides are sewed together and then you flip it out. This is for the back piece. Then you put the poster board that has the fleece glued onto it inside. And then I also added the little flap that was left and gathered it, then attached it to the back as the little curtain skirt thing that they would wear to protect and also keep their neck warm.
Once the pieces were put together, I used a whip stitch to hand sew the back to the middle to the front piece. Then I went through the inside and I rolled and sewed up any of the flaps that were left over. And here you go. This was my finished bonnet. I didn't embellish it at all just for the sake of time. And it is still kind of tall at the top, as you can see there, but it does the job. Here are my three oldest girls hard at work on whip stitching the backs onto their hats. And then they did, they ended up just needing to do that because we didn't do that front big thing whatever you call it the actual spoon part like mine here i am modeling mine along with my fleece cape that i made each of us so all six of us have a fleece cape to wear outside to make these capes i just bought three dollar fleece blankets from a certain store that starts with a w because that was cheaper than buying actual fleece fabric from a fabric store here's my oldest daughter's bonnet she really had fun adding on the embellishments. Here is my middle daughter with hers. It was made to be up a little bit in the back to accommodate a low bun. Here is my second oldest with hers. They had a lot of fun making these bonnets and using their pretty craft fabric. We are super excited to do the final reveal of our Little Woman Christmas posted on Christmas Eve. We'll see you then.